It's an all-Western Conference matchup in today's game as the Trailblazers come into town for this one. The Timberwolves looking to make the most out of their home court advantage here at the Target Center in downtown Minneapolis. And as we start the weekend here on this Friday night, 2K Sports welcoming you to NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Hello, Kevin. Well, Blazers head coach Terry Stotts is one of the more respected offensive minds in the game. He said, I like to give our players freedom to read the defense and make plays. I like philosophically that I don't know who's going to get the shot. That's going to cause a problem for the defense. Keep them guessing, Kevin. And as always, thanks, D.A., that kind of unpredictability helps in some settings can cause many matchup problems for the D. And Clark, tonight, we have an incredible matchup at the guard position. What do you think we'll see? Well, both of these guys are outstanding scorers, and they get their own shot rather easily, so that'll be fun to watch. And not only can they get their own shot, but they're both good at creating for others as well. So I'll tell you what, this could be a doozy, Kevin. This could really be a lot of fun to watch. Tip-off goes to Minnesota. The starters for the Portland Trailblazers. The incredible pair of Lillard and McCollum are at the one and two. Evan Turner is out there with Mo Harkless. And it's Nurkic in at the five. Roman the paint. Wiggins drives in. Will not go. This is off the front eye. On the wing, Turner, covered by Wiggins, goes up to the stripe. The shot by Turner, no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Teague can't hit. McCollum against Butler. And stolen by Butler. Kicks it to Teague. At the elbow, it's Wiggins. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. That's good from Teague on the assist by Butler. Teague's got the first points up on the board here for the Timberwolves. Screen by Nurkic. Teague against Lillard. Pass to Nurkic. Feeds it to McCollum. Four on the shot clock. Here's Turner. Loses the defender with the screen and drills the jumper. Well, there's not a whole lot you can say about a shot like that from Turner. T kicks to Butler. Over McCollum. The shot misses. Now the Trailblazers take it the other way. Certainly not the dream start they were hoping for, going one for four early. Lillard outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Timberwolves have gone just one of four to get this game started. Teague dishes to Wiggins. Turner with the steal. And oh, here we go. Lillard's got it. The fast break chance. And that misses. That would have put him up. Butler kicks to Teague. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Teague a screen on Turner. Six to shoot. Wiggins passes to Towns. The Timberwolves again can't hit. I think they got to get it going. A one for five start. Not what they wanted. Turner against Wiggins. Puts it up from 12. Hits some rim on the way in. And the bucket's good. And that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. T kicks to Towns. Shoots over Nurkic. Nurkic with the block. From 15 feet away, Lillard again missing. The Timberwolves trail. Down low. Stolen by McCollum. And the foul on Andrew Wiggins. That is his first foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time, Greg. McCollum dishes to Nurkic. The feed to Lillard. 
Nurkic a screen on Teague. Just five to shoot. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. That's what I call an everything but good execution. Just didn't knock it down. But you're right. They're happy with that shot. Now here's Butler. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And, uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not. But sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. The Timberwolves shooting their first free throw of the night. Looking at Towns and what he can do on the floor already at his age is impressive. This is a guy who's going to be a 20 and 10 player perhaps for the rest of his career. And as young as he is, I tell you, the sky is the limit. Towns with the steal. Nurkic with the steal. No question he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And when you look at the second year for Towns, it's comparable to other great big men in the history of the NBA. And, and Greg, I'm talking about players in the top 50 of all time. Yeah, I mean, just on the sophomore season stats, he looks like he projects to be one of the all-time greats. Comparable numbers to some of the best who have ever played. Shoot, Think shoot. of these names. Hakeem. Duncan, Ewing, and the Admiral. Maybe we'll be seeing Carl Anthony Towns as well. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. And for the Blazers, tremendous scoring talent in their backcourt. How did they turn the corner in the West? Clearly, it's going to be with their defense. I think that's where they've had their struggles. They're going to have to get better at the point of attack there and protecting the rim. I think some of it has to do with the lack of discipline, uh, but also you could factor that into being just an inexperienced young group that's still kind of getting their feet wet. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Solid work at the line a season ago. 83% on his opportunities. Guys, I thought he got into a groove last year at the charity stripe, and I thought he maintained it deep into the season as well. That free throw missing. You know, you watch Carl Anthony Towns, and he just epitomizes the future of the NBA big man. Extremely versatile, gets it done inside and outside at both ends of the floor, and has a fluidity to his game that belies his size. And Portland making a change here. Davis has checked in. He hits the second from the line. And with Towns and him being the future of the NBA big men, the numbers he's put up at, at a young age are staggering. Clark just looks like a guard out there sometimes. Well, there's a good reason for that, Kevin. You know, Towns actually played guard before a big growth spurt. I think that clearly helped with his skills, and that's why he's so comfortable creating. It's a perfect situation for a guy like him to revolutionize what a low block player can do. Wiggins and misses it off the right side of the rim. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. And Lillard kicks to McCullough. There's the pick. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And that's a tough one. But on those illegal screen calls, the defender's never going to get the benefit of the doubt. Those are facts, man. I mean, if he's sliding his feet just a scotch, the refs are going to whistle him for it. Now, here's Teague. Towns the screen. Butler with the ball. Now defended by McCullough. Butler passes to Towns. Over Davis. 
they grab their own miss. Here's the three. Another miss by Minnesota. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. McCollum kicks to Davis. Alert against T. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And one of the most dangerous shooters in the league, Damian Lillard, only needs a sliver of daylight grade to get that baby off. Yeah, I mean, he'll brush off the comparisons to Steph Curry, but, but he presents some of the same problems for the defense. Deep range, a quick release, and just one of the nastiest step-back jumpers in the game. Two shots. First one falls for him. You know, Clark, at the end of last season, the Timberwolves unveiled this new logo they're sporting this season. They felt it was time for an update, and you have to say it looks pretty sharp. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, most teams in the NBA want to mix their logo up every so often to keep it modern and up-to-date and fresh. The Wolves have a young group and felt it was the right time to re-examine the logo, and I can't argue with them. Sometimes a little change like that can pay big dividends. Two seasons ago, you, you think about the Blazers. They were a young, overachieving team full of great bargain contracts. Well, yeah, they're still young, but they had to shell out some big-time cash to kind of keep that young nucleus together. Now here's Gibson. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one, and Towns gets it to go. Quick trigger off the catch-and-shoot. Towns giving the defense no time to react. McCollum with the ball. Davis sets a screen. McCollum kicks to Lillard. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. And despite spending big money to keep their young talent all together, last season the Blazers, Greg, narrowly made the playoffs and were swept in the first round. Yeah, and some of those contracts, they have to be a concern. This team doesn't show progress this season still there's something to be said for that stability this roster given the chance to grow together and develop that chemistry and continuity let's see what the ceiling is shooting two First free throw is good. Clark, when you played, did you have any superstitions or a, or a game day ritual that you would follow? Superstitions are a waste of time in my book, Kevin. I had none, not any. I like my pregame nap. I'd get a good pregame meal, and then it was about focusing on my assignment for that particular game and night or day. Superstitions, I know a lot of guys have them. They weren't part of my toolkit. Yeah, you know, Kevin, when you play against this Minnesota team, you know they like to play at a slower pace. I mean, they had one of the slowest paces of play in the league last season. Not a team that really wants to put the pedal to the metal. Now, here's Wiggins. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And for the Wolves and their slower style of play. Clark, it makes sense when you look at the roster. They have guys who command a lot of attention in half-court sets. I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, Towns is the big one there. His versatility, he can step out as a big guy and make perimeter shots out to the three-point line. He can post it. Pretty good passer. Wiggins, terrific in isolations. Outstanding offensive player. This team can score the ball in transition. It's just not something they look for. I think they've got to balance it, though. Half-court action and a little more transition opportunity and to grow defensively will allow this team to sniff the playoffs. The first free throw is good. You know, you think about Wiggins drafted number one overall a few years ago. So many high expectations. And to be fair and honest, he's met most of them. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves, Jamal Crawford. He's checked in for Butler and Jones subbed in for T. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Aminu's checked in, and both free throws good for Wiggins. 
And for the Blazers, Greg, you can make the case they possess the second best backcourt in the NBA after the Splash Brothers with Lillard and McCullough. Yeah, uh, certainly offensively. I mean, they're just about unguardable. The, the questions begin at the other end. And when you factor in defense, I think you can find some debate there as, as some other groups tend to do a better job on that side of the ball. And here's Wiggins following the three-pointer by C.J. McCollum. Now here's Lillard. He's got seven. Davis kicks to Lillard. Back to Davis. Down to five on the shot clock. Lillard attacking. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. And it's a six-point trailblazer lead. Boy, I love watching Lillard turn on the Jets using that astounding speed to blaze past the defender. Jones kicks to Zhang. Wiggins outside. Right at the free throw line, and the shot is good. Yeah, high percentage look there, Kevin. I mean, Wiggins reads the defense and then basically just takes what he's given there. And Lillard kicks to Davis. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. Boy, incredible effort on defense. Refusing to give him an uncontested layup. Nothing easy. Yeah, that's just poor decision making. He's got to be better in those situations. Greg, I just think he was in a hurry. He flat out rushed it. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking there. He actually was in a brain neutral position. The pump fake kept the D off balance and gave him room. Lillard's got 11 points. And, you know, this quarter has been all him, all about him. They're getting it to him in his spots, and he's taking over. Jones dishes to Wiggins. Crawford outside. Wiggins passes to Chang. And shot on the way. No good off the back of the rim. And the defender was very apathetic there. Fortunately for them, he missed that mid-range jump. Lillard with no one around. And another three for Portland. Yeah, Lillard always looking to shoot from the outside. The D cannot give him daylight. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Now here's Crawford. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Wiggins. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. Here's Lillard. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Portland. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their One points side. early on coming off assists. And more than ever, we see great passers at the four and five positions in the NBA. Uh, Clark, who do you think are some of the better big men passing in the league right now? Well, there are a number of guys that fall into that category. I love Marc Gasol out of Memphis. I mean, this guy has a nice touch shooting it and passing the ball. Good feel for the game. Um, Blake Griffin, highly skilled as a passer, particularly facing the basket. Really makes it tough for the defense. Um, those two guys, Draymond Green, you have to throw into that group as well. Nice big man passer. I mean, even David West, although a role player, David can find open teammates as well as any big guy. Now, here's Aminu. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Collins kicks to Connaughton. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Kicks it out to Crawford. Pass to Gibson. Over Von Ley. No good from Gibson. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. 
really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Lillard misses. Timberwolves trail by 12. Crawford dishes to Jones. There's a good screen. To the middle. Tries from 10. Gibson with another miss. Gotta give the defense credit. That was a great contest on a high percentage shot in the paint. Here's Connaughton. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Yeah, and those illegal screens have, have really become a point of emphasis for the officials. And it seems like they've been more than willing to crack down on those. Makes it tough to get as physical as you'd like to out there. Just four seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. And always a bit of risk on those long passes. Lucky the D couldn't come up with it there. Gibbs on the screen. And so it's Portland up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Back to the action after this word. And now a chance to hear from point guard Damian Lillard as he explains his stoic demeanor on the floor. I was taught to, you know, never let anybody see how you feel. I kind of just embraced it, you know, for my entire life. It just, you know, you wouldn't know if something was going on in my life or not because uh, as long as I'm taking care of business and doing what I need to be doing, you know, that's all that matters. I would say we probably shouldn't expect to see Lillard starring in any reality shows about his about his personal life. Lillard is a young man who is all about taking care of business. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And looking at what we've seen, Trailblazers pretty much in control here. I think they play great D and, and not giving up anything easy early on. Exactly. I mean, they've made their presence felt on this end. Excellent job contesting shots so far. Taj Gibson is out there with Jang. And it's Crawford. Then it's Jones. And it's Muhammad in at the three spot. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Six to shoot. Crawford, no luck. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Aminu, the pass to Lillard. Hit the floater, and the layup is good. Lillard's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Trailblazers. I like when Lillard gets a little tricky with it. Outstanding at measuring the floater and dropping it in. Gibson with the screen on Aminu. A floater and two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. <laughs> Minnesota shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And when you look at their numbers from a season ago, 80% as a unit, that's something you'll be happy with. First free throw is good. And you look at the history of the Timberwolves, and there have been some incredible players. Clark, uh, which Timberwolf player uh, always was your favorite to watch, and why? Well, Kevin Garnett was fun to watch wherever he played. Clearly, his early career was in Minnesota, and his intensity, his focus, his versatility, his two-way prowess. Sam Mitchell, guy I got to know when he was in Indiana. And just one of those solid veteran guys. And then Kevin Love, a double-double 2010 guy. who was really good while he was there, too. Here's Connaughton. Let's a floater go. Nice D from Crawford. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Agree with you there, partner, because that 
screen really freed him up nicely, and that's a shot that if you're a pro, you need to make that one. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldrin. Fellas, Al Farouk Aminu has established himself as a great defensive player, and he wants that recognition. He said, my goal every year is to be defensive player of the year. I want to guard one through four and even five sometimes. I want it to be known that I'm a great defender. And I want the league to recognize that. Kevin? Thanks, David. Aminu continues to prove his worth on the defensive end. His length and quickness certainly hard to deal with. And here is Turner after the three-pointer from Jamal Crawford. And he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Well, Clark, you've been in the booth for so long, but I have to ask, have you ever toyed with the idea of coaching or working in some team's front office? I know you did briefly for the Pacers. Yeah, I did, and I enjoyed it. I was working in player relations, um, player development with our guys off the court and loved it, but it just wasn't something I could sustain at this season in my What's life. Not, gentlemen? not interested in coaching. I've never really been because my career passed went towards broadcasting right after I got done playing and I've paid my dues and have grown in this profession and I would want to do the same thing in coaching and I just don't have enough time in front of me <laughs> to do that so I'm happy to be around the game in this capacity coaching never lets up I get an off season as a broadcaster yes and already his third foul it's got to be time to get him out of there probably until the third quarter Trailblazers leading by 10. Right side Turner. It's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got his sixth rebound on the night. Butler kicks the tee. Towns the screen. Towns a screen on Turner. Just five on the clock. Teague inside the line. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. And you know, the 2016 17 season was one of the best for Jeff Teague in his time in the league. Had to feel good for him performing at such a high level in his hometown of Indy. And when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. Yeah, a lot of blanks there. Can't hit a thing. Has to be deflating. two around three minutes gone by count that one and you remember Teague revealed at the end of the 2015-16 season that he'd been limited by a torn patella tendon yeah and part of what makes him special is his explosiveness and he needs that to be his best really any player does he's a player whose strength I think is attacking and playing downhill and getting himself to the foul line Turner missing again. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Yeah, I like the fact, Greg, that he crowded the shooter there, made him uncomfortable, got into his airspace a bit. It looked like he forced the shot. Now here's Muhammad. Wyatt so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And sticking right with it, gets the foul with the bucket, and he'll go to the line. Two shots, it's going to be town shooting. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. I just love what Muhammad can do, Clark, for a team coming off the bench. Always looks to attack the basket, and when he is locked in, can function as one of the better six men in the league. Yeah, you know, for some guys, Kevin, being a rotational player off the bench is a hand-in-glove fit, and I think Muhammad falls into that category. I mean, you can give him a start if you needed to. He's not the best defender. 
but you love what he brings on offense, particularly if he's coming off the bench. Sinks the triple. Connaughton's got five now. Timberwolves trail by nine. Now T. He's got five. He dishes it to Towns. Shoots over Nurkic. And too long on the shot. Yeah, good interior D there prevents the deuce. Uh, you know, that's not easy at all. When guys get this close to the bucket, it's tough to stop the basket. Now here's Turner. He's got seven. Pocket six. Harkless kicks to Nurkic. Shoots over Towns. Nurkic can't hit. Timberwolves have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Towns, the screen. They set the pick. T kicks to Muhammad. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Nice move on the inside. The defense is there, but Muhammad with the skills and confidence to convert nonetheless. Teague against Turner. Passes it to Connaughton. Nurkic is screen on Butler. Here's Connaughton, defended by Butler. And it's Connaughton missing. Timberwolves trail by seven. And here is Butler. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Outside Teague. Towns sets the pick for Teague. An easy layup after coming off the pick. And the crafty, cunning Teague. Fantastic at finding ways to score down low. Nurkic just screen on Butler. Here's Connaughton. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. You know, the last few seasons, the Timberwolves assembled a terrific young core. Now they're ready, I think, to take that next step forward, adding veterans like Butler, Teague, and Gibson. I think they're ready to win right now. Shooting two. free throw no good for the Wolves in their breakout season that everyone was waiting for the pressure is felt by the team it's just hard to pick out when a group of young players Clark is going to put it all together yeah you're exactly right but that Western Conference about as stacked as it's ever been Kevin but you know what I think the Wolves are primed and ready to be contenders no luck that time either now the Timberwolves with it. They're on a 15-6 run. Wiggins, Portland grabs the miss. They've led by as many as 14 points. McCollum against T. Harkless kicks to Nurkic. They set the pick. Nurkic setting the pick for McCollum. Portland no good that time either. Timberwolves trail by five. Outside Teague. Towns sets the pick for Butler. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And that's his fourth foul. And we're not even at halftime. That is going to limit his playing time and his aggressiveness the rest of the game. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Gibson's checked in. Collins checked in for the Trailblazers. The Trailblazers leading by five. McCollum kicks to Harkless. With his first shot attempt, no good. Wiggins with some nice D. Outside Butler, he kicks it to T. Chang with a screen on McCollum. Wiggins outside. 
It's tipped, and so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. And defensively, great anticipation making a play there on the ball. Well, the thing they did there, Greg, clogged up the passing lanes, playing them beautifully and making things hard for the opponent. That's really good defense. Lillard's checked in for Pat Connington. Count that one. Well, I like the first quarter he had. I mean, and I'm loving the second quarter even more. Playing with a lot of momentum right now. Now, here's Lillard. He's got 19. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Taj Gibson picks one up. Lillard is really a, a force of nature. I mean, an incredible talent who torches just about everybody with his scoring ability. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. And he has been really good here at the free throw line in the first half. What I like is he's done a great job of getting to the line, setting himself up for those free shots. Yeah, those were fine Shoot numbers two. he posted um, at the line. It was hard to find fault with anything he did from the strike. And the first one drops. And Portland making a change here. Aminu's checked in. Free throws good from Lillard. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Teague with the ball. He's got nine. Now here's Gibson. Gibson with the screen on McCollum. Butler goes in. He used that pick to get in close. Butler's got his first points in this one. And I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. And stolen by Wigan. And it's going to be a three-second call. You know, Tom Thibodeau is one of the most respected defensive minds in the game in the NBA. He has a great track record when he was with the Bulls and as an assistant with the Celtics. Portland leading by three. On, Collins, a screen on Teague. And there's the foul. It goes on Taj Gibson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Here's Lillard. He's got 21. Dishes to McCollum. Davis with a screen on Butler. Five on the clock. Here's McCollum. And after that solid opening quarter, you can see now he is definitely starting to cool off. Butler kicks to T. It's stolen by Aminu. He feeds it to McCollum. A floater, and the layup good by Aminu. Resplendent release on the floater. When executed correctly, it's a beautiful, effective shot. T dishes to Wiggins. Now the pass to Butler. Gibson with the screen on McCollum. McCollum against Butler. Over McCollum, and it falls. Over the rim and in. Butler's got four this quarter. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Yeah, it looks like they've gained a little bit of confidence as the lid has come off the hoop. Now, here's Aminu. Lillard with it. Now defended by Wiggins. And Lillard gets double teamed. And T. Oh! oh. oh. Yeah, the speed of Teague on the drive could not be stopped or contained. He finished off that play with some real power. That was a terrific replay brought to you by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Davis sets a screen. Here's Aminu. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Taj Gibson picks one up. 
The Trailblazers have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far. And at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid numbers. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. good on the free throw and they're having a lot of trouble at the line today and unfortunately it's the kind of day we've seen this team have a lot some changes for Minnesota Crawford comes in for Jang and Tyus Jones subbed in for Jeff T and a switch here also for Portland Noah Vonley he's checked in for Ed Davis and he's good on the second the Timberwolves trail Jones he's had some playing time but no scoring yet from him here's Gibson and they're unable to get the tying basket there Portland's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight four of seven shooting and here's McCollum for three Andrew Wiggins pulls it in has not made another three since the one he drilled in the first but still you got to defend him from beyond the arc Jones kicks to Crawford 55 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Butler, and he hits it to tie the game up. Butler's got six here in this quarter. How about the execution from Butler there? I love it. I mean, simply taking his time inside and getting the job done. Gibson with the steal. Alert against Jones. There's 31 seconds left in the first half of the game. Aminu against Butler. And Aminu kicks to Lillard. Aminu the pass to McCollum. There's the pick. And the shot no good, a bit short. Floats one, and it's blocked. One second left. Unable to get that one. Jeff T firing on all cylinders for Minnesota. He keyed their comeback effort. He's the reason they are tied to close out the quarter. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Coach, it's been a grinded out game. What have you seen from your team so far? Well, we're competing. You know, neither team's really shooting the ball that well, but both teams are playing hard. Energy always leads to good results. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Welcome Show. Welcome back, folks. Ernie Johnson here alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The first quarter was a difficult one for Minnesota. Abysmal shooting from the field. Miss after miss and unable to get into any kind of rhythm. They simply could not put together an efficient offensive run. And then, what a comeback story in the second quarter. They went on some huge runs and now have the game all tied up. And Shaq, what do you think about what we saw from Minnesota? Reminds me of Kenny's soup selection. has been very, very sloppy. Way too many turnovers. They look unorganized, out of control. It's not pretty basketball. The good news, though, they're still in a great position to win the game if they just cut down the turnovers. Kenny, let's get your insight on Portland. Well, their reserves showed up tonight, not just on hustle plays, but in points. And that's what you got to do coming off the bench to maximize your minutes. And now, folks, just moments away from the start of the third quarter. The buildings of downtown Minneapolis all lit up on this lovely evening. Welcome back, everyone, to the Twin Cities. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. 
We're seeing a tremendous game from Damian Lillard. His points production thus far off the charts. It's only been two quarters. Just a great effort for him for the entire half. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where he is on the floor either, Greg. He's making it look very easy. He's looking to score the ball. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Portland's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Trailblazers. Lillard and McCollum, the star-studded backcourt. Harkless is out there with Evan Turner. And it's Nurkic in at the five down low. With the teardrop. And it's finished off inside by McCollum. McCollum's got the first basket of the second half here for the Trailblazers. And that replay brought to us by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. One of the more exciting plays in basketball. Yeah, and C.J. McCollum mostly plays at that off-guard spot with the Blazers. But on a lot of teams, you, you can see him as the lead guard. I mean, 6'3 in height, and his handles are elite. Boy, the relentless nature of town snatches the offensive board, then converts it into points efficiently and effectively done. Now here's Turner. Nurkic setting the pick for Turner. Over Wiggins, and it's wide right. Hits off the rim. And C.J. McCollum can step into that point guard role very comfortably. Yeah, I mean, he keeps it on a string going right or left. A terrific ball handler calling him a secondary ball handler is almost not doing him justice. Now here's Towns after the miss from Evan Turner. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Yeah, I like the fact, Greg, that he crowded the shooter there, made him uncomfortable, got into his airspace a bit. Looked like he forced the shot. There's a screen. Lillard from outside buries it from three-point range. Lillard's got 24 points. Yeah, you got to enjoy seeing Lillard fire away here. An awesome scorer who can just take over games all by himself. Turner dishes to McCollum. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Three-pointer Lillard. Andrew Wiggins grabs the board. Timberwolves trail by three. Dish now to T. And there's the foul. It goes on Evan Turner. That'll be his second foul of the game. Blazers on D. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Here's Butler. Tell you what, shooting 20% to start the second half doesn't bode well for how this will play out for this squad. Offensive rebound. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him, but luckily his teammates have picked up the slack. Teague against Lillard. Outside T. With some arc. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And Jeff T coming over to the Timberwolves in free agency. Greg, the team felt he was the perfect fit. You know, and, and it seemed for a while the Wolves had wanted to kind of mix things up at that point guard position. And you knew they had someone in mind when they dealt both Rubio and Dunn in the offseason. Teague was their two man shots. all along. The first one falls. And you know what I like most about Teague is his confidence. I mean, he's unflappable. He's cool and composed and yet plays the game with a real fire. And so Teague gets two free throws. Portland's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Towns with the steal. Turner against Wiggins. 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. 
Wiggins has got his third bucket of the night. Nice job contesting the shot. But once Wiggins gets to the height of his jump, not much the defender can do about that. Now here's Turner. He has seven. Here's Lillard. Great tee that time from Gibson. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Muhammad, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. Portland's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. And Turner kicks to Harkless. McCollum up top. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Towns. A three from McCollum. And Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. Towns has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Wiggins kicks the tee. Towns. Just five to shoot. Count it. Good. Come on. This is a big guy here, Towns. I mean, you got to foul him a lot harder than that to stop the shot. I mean, he's just too strong. Now he gets a chance to add one more at the line. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Minnesota. From mid-range, it's been a very nice game for them. I mean, they've been finding the bottom of the net a lot. And we're also seeing that power game on the interior, really just putting on a clinic when you talk about post play. And I tell you what, the former NBA Rookie of the Year, Towns continuing his rapid ascension as one of the league's best centers. Connaughton passes to Nurkic. Here's Swanigan to end the run. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And he's got his first free throw of the game. First free throw is good. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for Minnesota. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. And with Andrew Wiggins, you know he can be deadly from mid-range, but he's seen an uptick in scoring part because he's been focusing on all the little things you need to master as a perimeter wing threat. Yeah, you're exactly right. He has been focusing on those intangible, those small things that are big things in making a difference in how efficient you are on offense. He's improved his play running the pick and roll every year. He's excellent in transition and off cuts and has really worked on becoming a better finisher off the screen and roll handoff. Here's Muhammad. Sweet little floater. Muhammad's got his second bucket of the game to go. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's Harkless looking for his first basket still in this one. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot.
And the first one at the line is good. C.J. McCollum, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. He doesn't get the second one. Well, Andrew Wiggins, the pride of Canadian basketball, he is shown to be a very durable player, Clark, in his short career. Rarely misses a game if he ever does and plays a ton What's of minutes that? each night out. Yeah, and Kevin, even as a rookie, Wiggins logged heavy minutes. He often played north of 40 minutes a game. But he's so important to this team because of his impact at both ends of the floor. The Timberwolves have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. Ed Davis has checked in for the Trailblazers. One shot. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line of this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Here's Swanigan. Offensive rebound. Davis uses the glass to finish the layup. Davis has got his first bucket in this one. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy putback. T kicks to Muhammad. Dunk by Muhammad. Yeah, I tell you what, Kevin, once Muhammad gets to the rim, that giant wingspan just really takes over. And here is Turner. He has seven. Davis with a screen on Gibson. And Turner kicks to Davis. Over T. And it's Davis missing. Here's Minnesota. They're on a 16-7 run. Crawford outside kicks it to T feeds it to Muhammad they set the pick the Timberwolves need to get a shot off here Teague for three Portland grabs the miss Davis has got his fourth rebound in this one Turner with it Davis with a screen on T. Turner dishes to Davis. Over in the corner, Turner. Over Wiggins. Trailblazers keep it alive. Down it goes. Nice one there from Swanigan. Defensive rebounding, just such a crucial part of the game. Yeah, it's finishing your defense, Greg. We know that. You can defend, then you got to rebound the miss, and you got to get to the glass with intensity. Now here's Muhammad. He's got nine. Now on the play, basket counts, so it'll be a three-point play chance. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. The Timberwolves have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Towns, he's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. And Jones subbed in for Jeff T. Noah Vonley, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. Aminu comes in for Harkless. One shot. And that one falls for Muhammad. You know, Shabazz Muhammad was one of the biggest name in all of high school sports as a senior. He's still trying to find that same kind of buzz and groove at this level. Now, here's Aminu. Yes! And the foul! And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Aldrich has checked in.
and that one misses. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. Now McCullum after the missed three from Jamal Crawford. They set the screen. Here's McCollum. Muhammad grabs the board. I mean, his field goal percentage isn't good. He's not helping his team out there shooting this poorly. Two points. That one goes. Crawford's got the lead up to eight now for the Timberwolves. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. McCollum against Gibson. And the basket by McCollum. He has a little bit of trickeration with that one. Gets that one to go against the lint. Trickeration. <laughs> I like that, partner. That's pretty strong word creation. And you've got to be creative, though, whether you're commentating or hooping, especially when you're going inside. Here's Crawford following the basket by C.J. McCollum. Oh, oh, no. He's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. Two shots. First one falls for. And, and no matter what, one of the big positives they can take away from this game is how well they've performed at the line. Wiggins is checked in for Minnesota. Jimmy Butler comes in for Shabazz Muhammad. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Collins is checked in. Both free throws. Good from Crawford. Trailblazers trail by eight. Turner passes to McCollum. Back to Turner. Looking to get it going. He can't hit that time. Timberwolves go the other way with it. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. Now here is Davis after the miss from Crawford. Vonley down low, defended by Gibson. And Gibson just out here to play hard defense, showing great awareness coming up there with that block. Portland's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Jones against Turner. Davis with a screen on Jones. Davis sets a screen. And they call that's an illegal great. screen here. And that's a tough one. But on those illegal screen calls, the defender's never going to get the benefit of the doubt. Those are facts, man. I mean, if he's sliding his feet just a skosh, the refs are going to whistle him for it. Jones kicks to Crawford. The feed now to Wiggins. Gibson with a screen on Collins. Wiggins drives in. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And the foul goes against two shots, gentlemen. Yeah, magnet for fouls. Wiggins' explosiveness two. gives him a great advantage against most any defender. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Yeah, 76 percent from the line a season ago. And most would consider that Take to a be break. a success. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And both free throws good for Wiggins. And Portland has possession. It's a 10-point game. McCollum outside. Down low. Poke loose. Crawford with the steal. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Jones, no one around him. 
Takes a big high bounce and goes in. Jones has got his first points of the night. And, and they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks from mid-range. Well, it's interesting. The defense continues to back off, expecting them to attack the rack, but they just continue to pull up and knock down those mid-range jumpers. He's definitely turned things around in this game. I mean, he was more of a background player in the first half. He's jumped center stage now. Butler on the wing. They set the pick. Jones dishes to Butler. Shot clock at six. Over Vonley. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Eight points for Jimmy Butler. And, you know, that's Butler's bread and butter now. I mean, a superb mid-range shooter. The defense has to be better. Turner passes to McCollum. He dishes it to Collins. Over Wiggins. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Taj Gibson picks one up. First free throw is good. Damian Lillard, he's checked in for Ed Davis. He makes one of two that time. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and, and rough, but that's how you win games. Wiggins with it, now defended by Von Lee. Gibbs on the screen. Here's Wiggins. That misses off the backboard. Trailblazers trail by 10. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Offensive rebound. Kicks it out to McCollum. Crawford with the steal. And this is where you milk the clock. Yeah, that's the intelligent play here, Greg. No doubt. No reason to chuck up some garbage shot. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. Here's Collins. Gets an open look and hits. And so it's Minnesota going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Back right after this. Terry Stotts had some advice for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. Right now, we're playing 10. We're backing down. We're throwing soft passes, and he's getting us in the hole. Be aggressive. Typically a measured guy in this approach. Terry Stotts trying to turn up the heat on his guys. And that's because he knows when his team is attacking, that's when they're able to go on those runs. Three quarters in the books, folks. Glad to have you with us. Welcome back as we get going. Jimmy Butler is out there with Andrew Wiggins. Then it's Jones. And it's Crawford. And it's Gibson in at the five spot. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Now here's Turner. Following the miss by Andrew Wiggins. Inside. And the whistle blows. So a chance here for a three-point play. Got to DM up better than that. I mean, when he's got a smaller guy on him inside, that's dinner. Barbecue chicken. Mm, that, that sounds good. good. I love that.
free throw good. Nurkic. Timberwolves leading by seven. Gibbs in the screen. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen. No doubt for me, the offense looks better. In the second half, they've been able to dial down those turnovers, and that's been a huge help. Patton, he's checked in for Taj Gibson. Portland's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight, just a little over 40%. Collins kicks to Nurkic. Pass to Turner. Nurkic a screen on Wiggins. Turner. Shot clock at five. Nurkic setting the pick for McCollum. Nailed from three point land. McCollum's got 10 points in just the second half. Crawford against Turner. There's the screen. Here's Wiggins. No good off the back of the rim. That's an unacceptable shot selection there, Kevin. I mean, why on earth did he think that was a good look? And Lillard kicks to Nurkic. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. They needed a run desperately, and boy, did they come up big. And you know, it wasn't just about getting hot offensively. Defensively, they've been stellar as well. Shots good by Butler. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Trail Blazers trail by four. Nurkic is screen on Jones. And Lillard kicks to Collins. Some nice ball movement here by the Trail Blazers. A Collins dishes to Lillard. And again, it's the Trail Blazers from deep. Oh, great ball movement there. Here's Jones. Passes it to Butler. Wiggins against Collins. Left side Jones. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Minnesota making some changes. Bielitsa, he checks in for Pat, And it's Teagan for Tyus Jones. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Harkless has checked in. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Teague kicks to Wiggins. to Teague. Six on the shot clock. Outside Butler. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And, and those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. Jang, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Swanigan, he's checked in for Portland. Lillard, the pass to Nurkic. Here's the screen. And here's McCollum for three. A rebound by the Timberwolves. They've held a 12-point lead early. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And, Greg, we've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Well, you, you see the struggles he's having getting anything to go. Yeah, I'm sure he's frustrated, Greg, because nothing is falling right now. But he's going to keep chipping away at it, and that's the attitude. Stay with him. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by T. And Portland making a change here. Turner's checked in. minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Here's McCollum. Oh, tried to dunk it all, but threw the foul, and he'll go to the line. It's on Jimmy Butler. I like the shiftiness of McCollum. I mean, feels like he can get any shot he wants to. Very efficient as a guard. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Trailblazers. And they've made the long range look like a layup at times in this one, guys. I've been impressed with how well they've penetrated tonight, too. That 
one drops. He ties it up. Free throw is good, now leading by one. Here's T. Crawford outside. He kicks to Butler. Dishes it to Wiggins. Five to shoot. Here's Crawford. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Boy, Kevin, he just clanked that one. I mean, surprising because the defense wasn't really in the picture. Here's McCollum. Lays it up off the glass. McCollum's got 14 points now in the second half. Boy, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Higgins outside. Jang with the screen for Crawford. Crawford missing again. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Portland moving the ball around. Harkless kicks to McCullough. On deep. Again, McCullough missing. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And, you know, Gorgie Zhang is a big man who can play both the four and the five. He doesn't stand out on offense, understated there, but very valuable and solid and consistent. He's a rim protector and a space eater, but also a pretty effective rebounder, too. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And Jang, a solid challenger at the rim with his shot blocking. Uh, Clark, he doesn't mind having a secondary role on a team as long as they are winning. Yeah, you know what? He's really comfortable in his own skin and what his role is. He's got great awareness of how to help his team. Never tries to do too much on the offensive end. And he's really good at playing with any other type of big guy that the Wolves put on the floor. Now, here's Lillard. They get it back. Yurkic can't hit. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. Now, here's Teague. Higgins outside. There's the three. And it's Portland with the rebound. Turner's got his sixth rebound on the night. Lillard is screen on Crawford. And Lillard kicks to Harkless. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. And the Trailblazers lead by three. Minnesota's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. T kicks to Crawford. Back to T. To tie it up. Here's Wiggins, count it, and the foul. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. Boy, I tell you, when Wiggins attacks now, good things seem to happen. Now a potential and one boy. This young fellow's got major talent. One shot. That one drops. He ties it up. Here's the Trailblazers with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. And Lillard kicks to Nurkic. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. I mean, even from over here, you could see that one pretty clearly. 
No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. This is the free throw. And no good on the second free throw. So he goes over for two there. And not doing anything to erase his reputation as a shaky free throw shooter. This game really only making it worse. Now here's Wiggins. He feeds it to Butler. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. And Portland with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. Lillard is screen on Wiggins. Screen by Nurkic. Here's Harkless. Portland, no good that time either. Minnesota's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Butler. Here's Jang. And count it. And a chance for one more at the free throw line. And playing with the lead, you can see they're making a much more concerted effort to work the ball inside here in the second half. Shot, gentlemen. And I'll tell you what, guys, Jane keeps himself in peak physical condition. Low, low body fat percentage. And I think that's a byproduct of spending time at Louisville. Fanatic for that kind of stuff. Now here's Turner. And the pass to Nurkic. Jang got that one, and the Minnesota lead has been cut to just one point on the basket from Norkic. You know what? The switch has flipped, and he's in that proverbial zone right now, knocking down three of four here in the fourth. Deep two from Crawford, and that comes off the assist by Jeff T. And 11 points for Jamal Crawford. Trailblazers trail by three. Norkic a screen on Teague. They set the pick. Wiggins against Turner, and he comes up with the deuce. Minnesota shooting around 41% on the night. Teague dishes to Wiggins. Jang with the screen for Wiggins. Jang a screen. Here's Butler, and again it's Minnesota. Yeah, and you know, Butler has a ton of confidence in his shot. Even when the defense is tightly on him, he still keeps his concentration on the basket. Cullen passes to Harkins. High pose, Nurkic. He's against Jang. Lillard from outside. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. And night in and night out, that's what he provides. Now here's Wiggins. Chang with a screen on McCollum. Butler, no good. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. I agree with you. Not a good shot. Not good offense. They can get a much better look than that. But they're going to need to be patient to do so. The shot by Turner. No good. Minnesota in the lead. Butler in the corner. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Hamid's checked in. Oh. 
what an opportunity here. Yeah, chance to take the lead. This is huge. The drive by Nurkic, and the puck counts. Three-point chance here. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? Boy, it does your heart good to see that kind of determination in a player. Really excellent focus that time. throw good Nurkic Timberwolves trail outside T there's the dish to Butler over McCollum hangs in the air and it's Wiggins missing Portland's got a disappointing two or six on three point attempts here in the fourth and Turner kicks to McCollum back to Turner over Wiggins the shot by Turner no good Minnesota's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range T dishes to Butler Chang with a screen on Lillard Turner with the steal McCollum kicks to Lillard foul call that time on the way up that'll give him two chances at the free throw line here and really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. He's much better off making him go to the line. Drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a four-point ball game. He's got ice water in his veins, fellas. No way he's going to miss from the line when the game's still hanging in the balance. I've seen him make too many in this situation. Now here's Butler. Pass to Wiggins. High arcing shot. Real, really good job of working the interior. You got to work it. You got to work it a bit. Wiggins attacking is able to draw the foul. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that narrows the lead down to just three. He's off on the free throw and able to get that second one to drop in. He gets them to within one possession, but that miss puts a lot of pressure on their defense. Here's Lillard. Great D that time from T. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a pass-first mentality at this point. A three-pointer off the mark. Portland's gone a disappointing two or six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. McCollum. It. Boy, he and his teammate in the perfect spot. Led him easily to the bucket. That's what you call a room service assist. Minnesota calls timeout. They're behind by five. 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Damian Lillard. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. updated from the sideline. Let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I listened to Tom Thibodeau talking to his team during the break. He told them to stick with it. He said, this game is right here, guys. This is our game to take. Precision, purpose, and poise. Kevin, we'll see if they can get it done. T can't hit. And they are in the driver's seat. Yes, they are. If they come away with points on this trip, Katie bar the door. Minnesota with the ball. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Butler is screen on McCollum. Back to Teague. Jang high post. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Connects from downtown. Slane and Lane all coming. Higgins with the confidence to put the team on his back when it matters most. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They're leading by two. Six seconds left to play in the final quarter. Stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Yeah, but Greg, they didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. Tell you what, that's a clutch moment for him right there, delivering at a big time in this game. And the Timberwolves call time. They're trailing by four. Five seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, what's your take? Well, they'll need a very quick basket out of this timeout. Yeah, and even if they get it and then get a quick foul, I'm not sure there's enough time even under that scenario. It's the Timberwolves now. A three-pointer. Wiggins, it falls. An excellent score off the dribble. Wiggins starting to excel in the catch-and-shoot game, too. And so the big win by Portland in a tight game. 
They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, and Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Damian, it looks like this team's progress can be measured by your improvement at the defensive end. I mean, do we see that tonight? Um, we, we made some mistakes, like every other basketball team does, but I think we did a great job of making adjustments. You know, we got a little more physical. Um, you know, we did a great job of that. And that led to a big win, Damian. Thanks for your time, man. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. So long, everyone.